Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome to a Christmas coming up. Yule of the Deals, Princess Auto two week sale flyer, December 10th to the 22nd. All right, we got a fairly beefy flyer here. We've got uh, about, oh, there's got to be about 50 pages, 45, anyways. 47, about 48 pages. Okay, so what do we got? Well, Let's start here. We got some uh, spare tires, trailer tires. Not too bad. Electric grease gun. I kind of thought that would be be handy, but I don't know how those things work. That's expensive too. If uh, your battery runs down, keep it charged, I guess. But uh, and the batteries go poochy, and they're no good. And then what do you do? Throw the thing out, I guess, because you probably wouldn't be able to find new batteries for it. But anyways. Vacuum. That sucks. All right, what do we got on this page? That's a neat little uh, table. Five. That's actually really cheap too. Interesting. Stainless steel table, and it is thirty-six. Thirty-six long. It's only three feet long. That looks a heck of a, it's just kind of hard to tell from the picture, it looks a heck of a lot longer than three feet. 24 inches wide, I guess, from wall to end, and 35 and three quarter inches high. That looks a lot more than 33 feet long, like holy cow, that's not a very long table when you stop and think about it then. <laughs> My backhoe bucket's 36 inches, so it's pretty tiny. Uh, what do we got here? Scale, that's cool. Sausage stuffer. Well, there's a Hellgate Grill Griddle. Oh, that's kind of neat. That might be good for camping. How is it, Rand? It's a 20-pound propane tank. There you go. That might be a good deal for camping. What do we got on this page? Stainless steel vacuum sealer. Commercial grade meat slicer. This is all the fall kind of meat processing stuff, I guess. Not really into that too much, but... Oh, my goodness. You need a page flipping machine thing. Snowmobile covers. Don't have a snowmobile, so that's something I don't need. Tie down snowmobile bar kit. Wide word combination padlock. Oh, cool. That's kind of different. Oh, and they got these on sale. I actually do kind of need some of these. I got a kit there, but I seem to use the bigger ones kind of real fast, and then uh, they only give you two or three of the bigger ones, right? So, anyways, I like to get like, you know, three of those kits kind of thing and uh, put like one big kit together but anyways heaters good thing for this year oh they got a whole bunch of o-ring kits nerdile o-ring kits i don't know if those are the fuel safe ones or not i don't think so that's a uh, quite an assortment i do have one like that i think it's the red box the metric ones for some of the fittings on my hydraulic hoser and stuff use them so yeah not much on there it's all wintry stuff gloves and stuff snow blower covers oh there's one of those uh ice roof rake thingies and work stuff snow shovels Ugh. no oh that's nice to sit by <sighs> anyways fireplace stuff whole auger stuff really need any fireplace stuff don't have fireplace now let's just have a campfire outside <laughs> fuel transfer stuff Ooh, fill right this stuff seems to be getting more and more all the time look at the price for the for the pump wow 13 gallon minute versus 20 gallon minute wow that goes up a lot and these things always seem expensive too the the, the counters mechanical fuel meters anyways some light work what we got over here? Chainsaw stuff. Trimmers. Nice. Some assets. Seats. <laughs> Bigger chainsaws. I was going to say, oh, that's only a $19, $20 chainsaw. I'm buying that, but it's for the sharpener. Oh, $179, though, for a 14 and 20 inch. Oh, you get two blades. Two, two bars and two chains with it, I guess. That's all right. That's a pretty good deal, actually. For, you know, the... 
homeowner kind of stuff. I wouldn't professionally maybe use that because it probably wouldn't last long. But you never know. You never know until you break it. <laughs> More assets. Cover contest still. Drop a cover. Should put that John Deere AR on when there's a tractor there. We could do that. Anyways. What do we got here? Some tailgate stuff for uh, trailer hitch stuff. That's kind of neat. Cargo carriers. Pin stuff and jacks. Still gotta get one of those for the travel trailer. I'm getting too old to crank that stupid thing. <laughs> well, anyways, we got some fenders and some springs and some brakes and some axley things and some tire carrier things. Twelve ninety nine. There is no way you could even buy. The bolts and the hardware and stuff to build that for $12.99. Not here anyways. You know, you don't have to drill the holes, you don't have to cut the angles to weld on, all that messing around. Like, I bet you uh, I could build that, but it would cost me probably at least 100 bucks of time and materials and the hardware and $12.99. Wow. That's dirt cheap. But it's probably dirt cheaply made too it looks fairly decent there like the metal is fairly thick but mm, it still probably do it at a half inch <laughs> there's strength in numbers they say right so there you go strength and thicknessers some trailer hitch stuff good for that for now Ooh, the scanner guy i don't know if those would work on my truck or not the diesel but probably not it's probably something totally different Jump starters, jack post lift thingy, two post lift. Still want one of those, but nope, can't do her. Trolleys, motorcycle lift, aluminum steel floor jack, transmission jack. What do we got here? Creeping stuff, and seats and stuff. Pneumatic adjustable pneumatic roller seat. Oh, okay then. Pneumatic bearing race driver, seal driver master set. Ooh, nice. And some pullers. <coughs> Ordinary people doing the extraordinary. Nice. <coughs> what do we got here? Cut and torch stuff. Mmm, and the cart. And the hose reel. We oh, could spend some money there, eh? There's 405. Yeah. Hmm. Just for that stuff. Anyways. Oh, look, they have the big job boxes now. That's neat. 200 bucks. It's pretty cheap. The uh, helmets here. Welding helmets. We saw one at the Canadian Tire the other day. And traditionally, they had the Canadian Tire paper money that they give you like 2% of whatever your purchase was. They give you back in Canadian Tire money. They've done that for years and years and years, basically pretty much since the place opened way back in the, way back in the, you know. Now they've gotten rid of that and they got to the little points cards like everybody else, a little card, and, bleep, and then it puts a thing on your account, right? Well, they had a helmet there the other day that was um, covered with uh, covering stuff that looked like the Canadian Tire Money. It was kind of neat, be neat little collector's thing, but like 200 bucks for it. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh. That's like the little utility box I got uh, in my uh, shed there for putting the stuff in that I don't want the mice to get to. <laughs> Stupid mice. What we got here? Some ramps. Ooh, aluminum folding cargo ramps. Those are actually kind of nice. Look kind of maybe like they'd be slipperyish though. I forgot slipperyish. Some straps and stuff. Yeah, good for that, I guess. More strap and stuff. More strap and stuff. I've got lots of straps right now. Oh, good. It's one thing I can't stress enough. If you're going to buy straps, don't go and buy the little cheesy pack of these kind of things where you just kind of pull them and they kind of cinch tight. I don't know if I can get a good shot here. Those kind of things. Don't get them. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Don't get one with a single hook on it. Go with something a little better. They even show you the better ones here. Now these are all sort of chintzy ones. Uh, something like these ones are a lot, a lot better. Yeah, ten bucks or a lot more, but you know what? 
you got a 15 foot strap that's got an actual good ratchet on it that you can tighten it really good and uh, it's got the double hook on her too right so yeah don't don't go chintzy and cheese out and get cheesy ones because you won't like them i can guarantee <gasps> Ooh, we've met the middle of the page middle of the book we got some led lights nice and some horns freeway blaster horn Ooh, that is cheap too for that Oh, it's a fuse kit. Sorry, I thought it was a, a electrical wire connector kit. Usually they're that cheap, too. Now, what do we got? Side, we're halfway done now. Oh, we got some bit adapter things. Nut driver holders and stuff. These are worth their weight in gold, too. These things are awesome. So you can put that into, like, a, a drill of some sort, a little impact drill. Oh, yeah. Real nice. All right, I've got some air tool stuff. It's like some air body saws and pistol grip air shears. I've used the nibbler, which is sort of like this kind of, well, sort of like this kind of thing here. It kind of nibbles as it goes through. They're actually pretty good. They cut a big big piece out though, so you kind of waste a lot of the material, but it cuts like little half moon sort of shape things out as you're nibbling, and they're actually pretty quick on the thinner stuff. So what do we got here? Tactical pack, sweet. Don't really need any of that stuff. Air filter and dryer. Some compressor components. Wow, look at the price of that one. Five horsepower, two-stage air compressor pump. That is D, that is this bigger one here. Still not as, well, it's maybe close to that one. Yeah, that looks kind of like the one I got on my compressor, maybe. Let's see what it puts out for, for power, for air. 16.2C if I'm at 175 PSA. Yeah, that's probably the same one that I got on my big one down in the garage. Works good. A little, really loud though, but she works, she makes some good air, let me tell you. Woo! Hot buys. Well, what do we got here? Some cleaning stuff and hand cleaning stuff. And after you clean your hands, you put this on to help make your hands softer. Oh, they sell death fluid there. Nice, I'm going to have to start getting some of that. I uh, haven't got any yet for my new truck. Holy crap, you can buy a whole pail of fluid film. Wow, that's a lot of sheep grease in there. Lanolin. should say on there somewhere. It's hard to read, though. Good stuff, though. That's really good stuff. I guess, how would you use that? You have to put it in, would you put it in some kind of spray bottle thing? I don't know, <laughs> interesting. And there's your engine degreaser there too. So after you grease it all up, you can degrease it. What is that thing? Paper towel chemical holder. Huh, interesting. If you put your soap on top like the this stuff and then paper towel roll there too. That's neat. Well, don't need any of them stuff. Some carts, flatbed carts, some shelving units, some hooker things, some more flat carts. We used to, at the rental, we rented a, oh, was it a 24 by 24 flat cart with the wheels? Basically, like this thing right here. Uh, I think it was eight bucks a day. And all it was was a sheet of plywood. A little hole and a little hole with a rope and then the fork wheels of course holy man did they make a lot of money off of those for what they cost to make oh, hundreds of dollars let's get yourself a sheet of plywood and four little wheels and make your own you could probably do that for 25 bucks they do sell part sheets there at uh, home depot screw some screw some uh the wheels onto her and away you go the wheels would be the expensive part though but, but yeah they made a pile of money off of that Ooh, we got uh, some more pack things. I'm good for that. And then some tools, wrenches and stuff. And then some nice shelving things. Ooh, I kind of like that one, but eh, nah. Some more tools. Torque multiplier, sweet. Go tight enough till they break there, bud. 
There's a, quite a shelving unit. Looks like a big apartment building. <laughs> Hollywood Squares, there you go. <laughs> That's about it, wasn't it? That's quite a show. And we got some Chan L locks. Chan Nell locks. That's nice. Some hex keys. I'm pretty good for them right now. Tape measures. Got lots of them. Vicey grips things. I got actually a set of yeah, one of these on the top here. I love it. It's great. Works really good. Just the, I just got the bigger one though, but I got lots of vice grips. So I got like the auto locking vice grips where it's got a little bit different mechanism in it, and you can tighten or adjust the screw, but it'll kind of auto tighten onto something. And they work pretty good. Oh, what do I got here? Ooh, I got a couple of them, and I like them, but they take a while to fold up and unfold, but they do go pretty compact, which is kind of nice. And that's the sawhorse guy. Pretty nice. And you don't take any of them tools. Some gloves, some working gloves. And a big, huge pry bar. Nice. Chisel top crowbar. One thing I want to get is uh, big long sort of bars like that for doing tires, for instance, tractor tires. Big tractor tires, you need some pretty good prying on them things, but I don't seem to ever see them around. Nice jackhammer. Guess if you're good with a forging machine, you can maybe make your own, but anyways. Well, that'd be pretty handy. Metal cutting bandsaw, little guy. It's kind of like the small version of the huge one they got at the metal store. They got little punches and stuff, presses, shears, that's pretty neat, drill presses. They do sell some steel there now, which is good, but it's pricey enough. Like, if you're doing a fairly big project, it would cost you a fair bit. Anyways. Surplus, 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 surplus. What do we got for surplus? Not much there I need. There's a uh, dash cam. Something everybody should have, I think, is a dash cam. And cutting pliers. Poker set. Nice. Ooh, a hovercraft. No way. That's neat. A little drill guy there. You could use your little bit adapters, uh, socket adapters, and that thing. Nice. Jacket. That's what they call a Muskoka dinner jacket. Everybody has one of those up in the old Muskoka regions. Muskoka's a cottage country, we'll say, way up north of me here. Go to dinner and put that jacket on. <laughs> Boots and stuff. Don't need them. Oh, there's a surplus air compressor. Though. That would probably fit really nice in my shop. I'm going to definitely have to run out some better power, though. I don't think I'd have enough for uh, really doing what I want to out there. I've got enough to run lights and the, my little wee air compressor and stuff. But if we're going to do anything major out there, I'm going to need some more air. That's for sure. 600 bucks. That's pretty good, too. But... Mm -hmm. I do have that one compressor I kind of gave away though that when I got my big one there I kept the tank for a while and I'm like oh well, I don't really need this extra tank and I kind of gave it away and he's just kind of stored it he hasn't used it at all so I'm like well, maybe I can kind of ungive that away again and get it back and then reuse it that way so I might have to do that but anyways it would need 220 power which is pretty big so well that's it that is our December what did I say? December 10th to the 22nd. Um, 2019 Princess Auto two-week flyer. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch us all later. And you guys have a good day.